What's up guys? It's Vilma. Welcome back. Bem-vindos ao meu canal. Today's video is going to be a hair tutorial and a review on the Dyson Airwrap. Now, this product comes in three kits. They have the complete kit, which retails here in the UK for £449. They also have a kit for finer hair, which is called the Volume and Shape. And the kit that I have is the Smooth and Control, which is more for thicker like wavy thicker curly hair now this set and the uh, volume and shape retails for 399 so it's a very very expensive product i've had it now for nearly two weeks if i'm not mistaken and i've used it about four times i think today is going to be the fourth or the fifth time that i'm going to use it and i really wanted to test this product out as much as I could so I could give you a honest honest review now the product comes in this beautiful kind of like tan caramel faux leather box which a lot of people are saying that they feel like this is a waste I actually think it's really beautiful um, it's easy to store things I always try to put my hot tools in a box um, under a stool somewhere and I feel like having all the attachments in here it's just a really perfect and genius thing to do from Dyson. More than likely, the price is also reflected on the box. Maybe another 50 to 100 pounds is part of the box itself. But I nevertheless really, really like it. It has a magnetic clasp right here. When you open it, you have, oops, <laughs> you have a brown um, thing here, a cover. I don't know if I can use this to place my products on top when they're hot. And then when you look inside the box, you have all the attachments nicely placed in there. So as you can see, this kit has six attachments, including the wand itself. The first attachment is the blow dryer, um, which I've not used yet. Then the second attachment that I've used a lot, and that's the one I'm going to be using today and reviewing for you guys, is the paddle brush, which is supposed to give you a smooth, controlled look. Then you have two small barrels, and as you can see from the um, arrows, it tells you which direction the hair will go. And I also have in this kit the larger barrels which are 40 millimeters and the smaller ones are 30 millimeters which again have arrows to show you which direction the hair will blow so this is the base of the product i would call it a wand it looks pretty long but it's it's quite easy to hold in my opinion i have no problems with it whatsoever it has the power button right here um, if you put it up it turns it on and then if you pull it up a little bit further it gives you the cool shot and then over here you have the speed of the uh, dryer itself like you can have it on high medium and low i always have it on high because i have really really thick hair and then over here you have the temperature um, you have high medium and low again and i most of the time i always have it on high because i have thick hair as mentioned before the attachment i'm going to be using today will be the paddle brush and to place the attachment in the base all you need to do is push it down and it just um, grabs it and to remove it you have a little button here at the back where you pull it down or push it down and the attachment comes off i thought i would do reviews on the attachment separately so i don't make a video very long and the reason for that is because i have a thick hair and it takes me some time to use the attachment separately as well so i want to give you guys a really good review on each product to give you an idea whether it's worth buying it or not so i'm going to start by removing this t-shirt and i always use a t-shirt for my hair my hair is now damp and I'm going to be brushing it. Um, my hair is super short, as mentioned before as well. So I'm going to use a wet brush just to brush my hair down. So my hair is kind of damp. I would say it's about 70% dry by now because I had the t-shirt on for about, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes while I was doing the introduction for you guys. And I'm going to apply my leave-in products, my leave-in conditioner. This one is the Keratin Thermique by um, Kerastase. And I'm going to use the Oil Relax 
as a serum it prevents frizz and helps with blow drying a lot quicker so to use these attachments you need to have your hair damp not too wet not dry just damp in order for the hair to be able to be styled so i'm going to part my hair and i'm going to start with this lower section my hair is very very short at the moment so sometimes i can't even make a ponytail and i do have a lot of hair here so what i'm going to do is start blow drying on the higher air and higher heat setting and i'm just going to brush my hair as if i was using just a paddle brush It's done like this section is completely done my hair is dry so I'm gonna move on to the next section Again, this section over here has a lot more hair because I'm getting to the back part of my hair so sometimes I have to go with the paddle brush a little bit more but as you can see the hair is already smoothed out one thing I like to do when my hair feels like it's nearly dry I kind of like twist the brush like this so it gives me that curve as you guys can see it kind of like dries the hair inwards instead of drying it outwards it's a lot easier doing it on this side than it is on this side but that's how i like to dry my hair bottom part is completely smoothed out I'm going to just fast all of this forward so you guys can see the end result
So now that my hair is complete, I'm going to just use the cool shot to make my hair just set how it is. So usually I part my hair in the middle, um, but I thought I would do something different. I'm going to go out um, a little bit and I want it to look a little bit different. And here is the finished look like. My hair is bouncy, like it has life, if that makes sense. It has a smooth look, like the paddle brush, I call it the paddle brush or the smoothing brush, definitely does the job. I, for the most part, use only this and then I don't use uh, further heat till maybe the following day and I'll tell you why. The paddle brush itself doesn't make the roots very smooth, especially if you have curly hair like myself. My hair is very thick. It doesn't look very smooth sometimes. Today I did a really good job, but at times I need to go back with the straightener just on the roots, like on the hairline where my hair tends to curl and frizz a little bit more so I do that over here and I do it on these areas but I only do on the kind of like top layer of my hair because if I part my hair here the majority of the time my hair is nice and smooth because my hair is not as coarse down here as it is on the top layer but this is how I've been styling my hair when you guys see me with my hair straight I'm not using any other products or heat on my hair it's only the Dyson Airwrap and the smoothing brush. Do I regret buying this product? No because I straighten my hair a lot but would I recommend this for somebody who doesn't use heat all the time? No. You're going to spend a lot of money for a product that you're just going to reach maybe once or twice a year then you're not having good value for money. You're not utilizing the product and not getting that money's worth out of it. This is for somebody who uses a lot of heat on their hair. They're trying to minimize damage because this product only goes up to 150 degrees. Um, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'll look online and I believe that's how hot it gets, 150 degrees where other products, like for example, my regular blow dryer, which is from Babyliss, it's a cheaper version, like 30 pounds worth. It actually burns the ends of my hair. I can smell sometimes how hot it's actually getting. One of the benefits of using this one right here is that I don't have a single hair on it. And this is what I've noticed since I started using the Dyson Airwrap. My hair doesn't break using this brush. Like there's no hair whatsoever in between the bristles. The bristles are hard. They have hard but not that much and it moves a little bit. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It moves so it moves with your hair but it gives you that control that you need and there's not a single hair strand on here. So just by that, just this, the wand and not having any hair on this product right here, it tells me that I made a really, really good investment, whether I'm only using this six times a year, which will not be the case. I use it a lot. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. I even look forward in washing my hair and having to use this. I will be doing separate reviews on the barrels and the blow dryer attachment, so stay tuned for that. Let me know how you feel about this product. If you did enjoy this video, make sure that you give this video a good thumbs up, and I'll see you on my next one. Ciao!